And we're back from break. It's Claire and Harley. And now it's time for our gossip segment. Let's go to Twitter for some questions. Ooh, a question for you, Claire. Oh. The people want to know if you saw Kim K's new polar bear jacket and what you think of it. I did see it, and I have to say, even though it was pretty stylish, I don't think it was a good choice because according to our sources, the polar bear is already being affected both by the reduction in sea ice and by its food source. And the sea ice is decreasing due to climate change. Uh, yes, that's definitely a big issue. And this is a good question when we have to end our search for new things like fashion and think about the environment. I mean, we're already burning so many fossil fuels and clear cutting forest known as deforestation. I think a lot of people are aware of these issues, just not aware of how great they are. I mean, we extract and burn fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum and that release of carbon dioxide into our atmosphere has deadly effects. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, let's see if there's any more questions on Twitter. Okay. Oh, I'm getting something from the headquarters. <gasps> breaking news! Breaking news! Oh my god. Breaking news, guys! Ooh, everyone has gone so crazy! As you probably know, like, there are windows. Oh my god. Wait, what? The kind chance has increased 1,000 feet? Oh, damn. Really? Oh. Back to reality. Although that does seem like a far off fantasy, in reality, we're not that far away. That could be our future if we keep using resources the way we're doing. If we keep living in this non-sustainable way, that might be what it's like in 20 some years. Who knows, maybe our grandchildren will never see a polar bear. Mm -hmm. To get more insight on this topic, Harley and I went to Bellevue High School and interviewed their AP environmental science teacher, Mrs. Lutz, and also interviewed some of her best students. Let's take a look. Do you think that climate change is a major issue that needs to be addressed? Why or why not? Yes, I think climate change is a big issue that needs to be addressed because based on like trends, it's only getting worse. And if we don't do anything to change it, then we won't have an Earth anymore. I absolutely think climate change is a major issue. I felt that way for many years. Um, I feel like there is so much evidence that it is a significant atmospheric condition that is really affecting us in so many ways, from drought to species that are struggling. Um, it's it's going to impact us economically. It's going to impact uh, refugees. Um, in my opinion, it's number one. I think we have to move forward thinking that we can um, make a difference, but I do feel like it's already too late for some landscapes and some species. It's that we haven't seen the end of the warming for what we've already done, if you know what I mean. There's like, there's a lag factor. And so um, it will be a different world. Do you think that the public is aware of the problem and how serious it is, why or why not? Um, I think the public is somewhat aware because we have the different acts saying like to reuse water and um, to recycle and such, but I don't think we all have a great idea of how detrimental it is and how bad it is because we are using up so many resources and we won't be able to sustain for much longer. Well, Claire, those kids seem really aware about the global climate change. They do, and luckily some of our presidential candidates are too. For instance, Martin O'Malley said that, given the grave threat that climate change poses to human life on our planet, we have not only a business imperative, but a moral obligation to future generations to act immediately and aggressively. This is why protecting the United States from the devastating impact of climate change while capitalizing on the job creation opportunity of clean energy is at the center of my campaign for president. He also said that we must be intentional and committed to one overarching goal as a people, a full, complete transition to renewable energy and an end to our reliance on fossil fuels. So that's Martin O'Malley. We also have another candidate, Jeb Bush, who says humans contribute to climate change. He says that the climate is changing. I don't think anybody can argue it's not. Human activity has contributed to it. He also said, that he thinks it's appropriate to recognize this and invest in the proper research to find solutions over the long haul. 
There's also one final candidate, Bernie Sanders, who has a very strong opinion on climate change and thinks that the scientific community needs some recognition of their consensus. Let's take a look. The scientific community is also almost virtually unanimous in agreeing that climate change is caused significantly by human activity. Well, Claire, it's really great that some candidates, at least, are taking this issue into consideration. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has said that he doesn't think that in any major fashion climate change even exists. For Marco Rubio said that America is not a planet in response to questions about climate change. Although America is not a planet, it is the number one contributor to pollution on the planet. Ben Carson also said that he thinks the debate on climate change is irrelevant. I mean, there's so many different opinions here. Who knows who to believe? Well, what do you guys think needs to happen? Well, I think that the first step is making everyone aware of the problem of climate change because a lot of people don't really understand that it's actually a serious issue and they also don't know how they can help with it. So I think that's a big step. Yeah, yeah I think I totally agree with Claire. And then I think if I say more, uh, I would say like, just everybody like face these issues seriously because mm -hmm. this is our world, it's only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that the best way that we can save our world is to be at a point where we're living sustainably. We need to think about the future generations and not just ourselves because this will affect everyone, not just us that are here right now.